There's so many really great singers out there, <laughs> quote unquote singers out there that can't sing. They're great. They're super successful because they know what they do really well. And if they try to do anything else, it's not going to sound good. And also in singing, I do want to mention this, like perfect is boring. Like if you listen to songs on the radio right now or like Spotify playlists, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know if people still listen to the radio, but you know, like songs that are super popular right now, there's so many imperfections in these songs. Perfect is super boring. Like even with Bob Dylan, like Bob Dylan, love him, but like he can't sing. Right. Ed really? Sheeran is someone that really needed to train his voice as well. And he talks about it all the time. There's so many really great singers out there, quote unquote singers out there that can't sing, but they're great. They're super successful because they know what they do really well. And if they try to do anything else, it's not going to sound good. Dang, I wouldn't have imagined that with Ed Sheeran. Because I mean, everything I hear. Oh, he talks about it all the time. Like he even like if you just Google like Ed Sheeran, um, uh, like childhood singing clips or something like that. He has like he was playing clips from his childhood um, on like late night TV. And it's super bad. <laughs> it's, it's really, really bad. And he's like, yeah, I get so upset when people are like, oh, yeah, like you can just do this. And I'm so jealous that you can just do this. He's like, no, I had to work really hard for this. And yeah, that's that's what it's like for for most people. Some people start down here. Others start, start a little bit higher, but everyone needs to work to get to that professional level. How do you recognize what you have a natural voice for? Oh, that's a great question. So I, there's a couple of different things. You definitely want to look at what you could do before you had any sort of vocal training, right? Like again, with me, for example, I could not sing high notes, like, you know, head voice, like, ah, oh, that's your chest voice. And, ah, oh, that's your head voice. And it's much lighter and higher. Right. It's kind of like Mickey mouse. Oh, right. So, uh, I could not access my head voice at all like I didn't even know that that was a thing so I could only sing in my chest voice and I could go pretty darn low so that's a pretty good indicator that that's what my natural strength is based on you know what could I do before I had any sort of vocal training that's one way to identify what your natural strengths are uh, another one is feedback from your audience right like sing something for them and if you get the same kind of feedback like oh man your mixed voice sounds awesome or your vibrato is super cool. Like Post Malone, for example, has a vibrato that really stands out to me. Super fast, super cool. So, you know, like ask them what stands out to you about my voice? Is there a certain area of my voice, a certain quality of my voice, right? Like it doesn't need to be uh, low notes or high notes or medium notes or how fast you can, like it can be a certain quality like oh yeah you have really bright overtones like your voice sounds really bright and that really stands out to me or um you have a shit ton of twang <laughs> in your voice or how fast your vibrato is anything really like what stands out to your audience and then if you get the same feedback over and over and over again that's a pretty good indicator that that's like that's um that's the thing that makes you special. That's the thing that makes you stand out from everybody else, which is uh, usually what your natural strengths are. We hate to interrupt your regularly scheduled podcast, but my man, Brand Man Shine, got something he's just been dying to say to y'all. Go ahead, Brand. We're looking for a hundred of y'all, a hundred artists who could be at our next event on October 15th. We're doing another one. Those of y'all who know that we did this one other time, we have helped artists go from zero to millions of streams in 90 days. And we have artists who are at the first event who are already getting millions of streams. We're looking to help more artists. We wanna hear your music. We wanna meet you in person. We wanna commune. This isn't some just get some education and keep moving. We wanna chop it up, dap it up, take some pictures and hopefully build a relationship with you in the long term. But the last few details, Ja'Cory, can you go ahead and let them know where it is, time, all that good stuff? Yeah, yeah I got you, I got you. So if you wanna commune, you wanna you wanna learn? Then meet us in Washington D.C. on October fifteenth at twelve thirty. But once again, we'll be meeting with a hundred of you. You know what I'm saying? Got to be real strict on that. A hundred people, not one on one, not one on two. If you wanna make sure that you're one of those hundred people, click the link in the description or go to nolabelsnecessary.com/dc to get your ticket. And yeah, hopefully we see you there and we see some shit shaped. 
www.nolabelsnecessary.com. Remember, we sold out real fast last real time. Fast. We'll probably do it again. What percentage would you say is the the natural voice that we're that we're born with versus what percentage being like just having the technical aspect down? Oh, I love this question because this is something a lot of people get wrong and it's something I got wrong myself as well. I call this nature versus nurture, right? Nature is the voice that you were born with, the talent that you were born with, your God-given talent, whatever it is you want to call it. And nurture is the things that you learned how to do through training. A lot of times with singers, they get very caught up in the nurture part, in the training part. And so they really focus on becoming the best singer they possibly can be. So they, they work on their range, they belt higher, they riff faster, all of these different things. They kind of forget about their natural talent. And if you neglect your natural talent, you will um, almost always <laughs> not like see the full potential of your voice. You know, like we all have our strengths and our weaknesses, even within singing. Like, for example, with me, I could not sing high notes at all before I started vocal training. And so, of course, you know, I was listening to Beyonce and Christina Aguilera and Demi Lovato. And I was like, OK, I want to be able to go higher, 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 higher like these singers. So that's all I ever worked on. I completely neglected my low notes and the feedback that I always got on my singing was like, oh, yeah, you have a really great voice. But that was it. Nothing ever happened. Like nothing ever came from that. I was just a great singer, but not anything beyond that. Like I didn't get uh, signed to a manager or heard my songs on the radio or um, did magazine interviews and Spotify playlists and all of that until I realized that I neglected my natural strengths, my low notes. Once I um, you know, started singing lower again and really highlighted that area of my voice, that's when doors started to open up for me. So it, it like if we look at percentages, that depends on what kind of singers you're looking at. If you're looking at successful singers, they are using both their strengths, like their, their nature and their nurture, right? The natural strengths that they have and they combine it with training. If you're looking at more hobby singers and they haven't quite made that breakthrough yet, they're probably too focused on the training part and not the natural um, talent part. We all have natural talent. You just need to figure out where it is and what it is. While we're on the subject, before we get you out of here, Laura, um, I know you teach people on one on one, but you're coming out with a course as well. Where can they check that out? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a course that is going to help people sing more effortlessly. Singing more effortlessly means your range expands. You can riff faster. Your stamina improves. That's a big one we talked about today. Right. So if you're someone who's constantly losing their voice or getting tired when singing, you need to check out this course. Just hit us up on Instagram at Vox Tape Studios or check out our website, voxtapestudios.com. But we'll be able to send you in the right direction. The link is in the bio to sign up for the course as well. But yeah, we'd love to we'd love to work with you one way or another, either on online courses or one on one. Wow, what's up? It's Brain Man Sean. And if you like this clip, you can listen to the full episode on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you stream your podcast. But if you want to keep watching, We've placed a video that will be so useful for you conveniently above. Go ahead and click that link and watch it.